Hey guys, uh, Neil Bryan here, Grumpy Mechanic. We're doing, I got a dapper looking gentleman here who really is my mechanic more than me. Uh, we're going to be replacing the alternator on on this Ford F-150. But I've never had to replace the alternator. Was the last time you replaced an alternator, didn't you tear the skin off your knuckles? I did, as a matter of fact. I, I have issues with alternators. Okay. Actually, I have an issue with all mechanic work, but yeah, scraping skin off my knuckles is one of the reasons. The first thing you want to do before doing anything electrical is you want to remove the ground cable off your battery. So I'll unplug that. What is that you unplug? That, I don't know, it's a three-prong three prong plug. Three-prong prog. Three-prong prog. <laughs> you have a bolt back here that's very... It's very hard to see. There'll be this rubber piece covering it. You got a bolt right here. All right, we got that. I'm gonna put that nut back on there, even though the alternator's pretty much dead. That's nuts. There's a tab like this on the back of this. You can see my fingernails inside the split. Yeah. And I have to be able to lift it up somehow, but there's no room to lift it up. Ah, got it. That was fun. Yep, you can see right here, it has this. Yep. That goes over a little tab. So lifting that up, not fun. On the and now it's starting to rain. And in a circle ratchet part way, it helps to have these cables out of the way though. We're gonna take and turn the tensioner with. It's this pulley right here. Turns to the left. You can see as I push on it, there's less tension on the belt. Yeah. And uh, if you want to pull the belt off for me before the bolt loosens. Can you get the belt off the alternator? Yes. It's off. All right. And we'll release the tensioner. And there you go. So not only is the tensioner 15 millimeter, so are all the bolts on the alternator. And since I don't have a 15 millimeter ratchet, I get to undo these by hand. Next one's here, and the last one's here. What's plastic and what's solid enough I can lean on it? That's the game you get to play with anything made after the late 80s. Now who's a grumpy mechanic? I don't know if what you're doing is wise. <laughs> <laughs> nah, everything I'm doing is a great idea. Huh. If you have a hard time with a bolt, just shove your boot into the engine and cram! Nothing bad will happen. That's the grumpy mechanic guarantee. And this is how you tear the skin off your knuckles. I don't think that's how I did it. Oh, good grief, that's a log. <laughs> I'm aware. There you go, smack it with that log. <laughs> it worked. Uh, this is real mechanic work right here. Let's think sense. outside the box. Let's use a log on this engine. Look at that. I wanted to check something. Didn't want to get it mixed up because sometimes bolts are different lengths. Oh, that's a good point. These are the same. Proper utilization of a log in mechanics. No right. toolbox is complete without a log. Out of curiosity, any other home me mechanics out there, how many of you keep a log handy for mechanic work? There we go. That one was stuck. Look at all that junk on it. Oh wow. What is that? I don't know. Age. Now? It's like ice cream off an ice cream cone. All right, so back from the junkyard. We've got our old alternator and we've got our, well, it's also an old alternator. Old alternator. Get the top bolt in. Get that threaded so it hangs there. I'm gonna tighten it until it touches, but I don't, you don't want it too tight. Then you won't be able to adjust the other two holes. But I wanted to hold it up, so let's get this thing out of the way. See, this is way off center. There we go. So now we're gonna do what we probably should have done before putting it in here. I'm gonna put a little dielectric grease on all of the connections so that uh, everything connects a little better and doesn't risk getting any corrosion built up in it or anything that would make it not perform well. A little bit, put a little bit on these battery connections actually. I'll put a little bit, more than a little bit on here. 
Now we gotta start plugging stuff back in. And that snaps right in. And then we got the bolt on the back. Put this little thing back on. And screw it down. Pinch this all the way down so we get a good solid connection. And now we're going to put the belt back on. Now if you want to, you can do it by yourself, by undoing one of the pulleys down there. But that really sucks. So It's better to do it with a log. Or just to have help. I'm going to crawl under and pull the tensioner again. You're going to... Are you going to get it? Back on track for me. Okay. Are we good everywhere else on this belt? Pretty much. All right. Okay. Tell me when. Hang on. Got to get to a different spot. Oh. I think your fan clutch is a little old, by the way. So is your mom. That might be a video soon. We'll probably need to replace that once we put a grill back on it. Wait, are we still talking about your mom? No. Okay. I think we came off of something. I don't think so. We're all lined up. No, I got a belt thing. It's it's flopping. We came off of something. I know we did. Oh, it came off the, the idler pulley, right? Down here. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, lining serpentine belt back up. Not fun to do by yourself. Still not fun with somebody to help you. Just not fun in general. No. Need to go further? Yeah, just a hair. Alright, I can't, I gotta change position. How's that? We're really close. That's okay, great. we're on. All right. There we go. Charge it up and start it. All right, so you hooked your battery back up. It probably wouldn't hurt to double check all your connections when you're finished, just to make sure. We're gonna charge this battery up a little bit and give it a try. And since this is a junkyard, usually usually junkyards, if, you, if it's a bad one, you can go back uh, and give it to them and say it's a bad one and they'll give you another one. They don't charge you any extra. Uh, hopefully your junkyards do that. All right, so there's our voltmeter. It's at 14 and a half volts, which Zach was just saying is because our battery is fairly dead. So the alternator is working a bit over time. Uh, but that's the good news. Uh, we, have, we have a good alternator from the junkyard. We only had to do the work one time. <laughs> that makes me less grumpy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this is helpful to you. All right, until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Danger, Will Robinson.